What's up everyone? Welcome to today's vlog. Today is just me and Magnolia hanging out of the house. Kaylin has gone to a uh, like women's group thing that she's doing. Me and baby girl are hanging out of the house and we're gonna take you along for whatever we do. It's gonna be a ton of fun. So stick around. Baby girl, baby girl, are you eating so good? Hmm, are you eating so good? Doing a good job. Daisy's here to pick up after you if you, in case you drop anything. Mm-hmm. Baby girl's got some peas. She's got some ravioli and some puffs. Yeah? Is that good? Is it so yummy? Mm-hmm. Yay. Say yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. All right, ladies and gents, so while Kaylin is gone to her girls thing, I am going to try to pick up the kitchen a little bit. I started this morning picking it up, and I'm gonna try to finish this afternoon. Anywho, okay, what was I talking about? Um, these, this is what I was talking about right here. This says brownie pecan pie. So, I'm thinking about changing the flavor of smell in the house right now to brownie pecan pie, or there's also some spa scents, or there's some like other thing that I could choose too. But I saw the brownie pecan pie, and I think I'm really excited about that. Um, and it reminds me of this time one time when I was young and at home living with mom and dad. And my mom bought this candle. It was a huge candle, giant thing that was shaped like a chocolate cake. And I came in the house and I smelled chocolate cake. And I mean, I'm like home from middle school or something like that. And I'm running around the house looking for chocolate cake. Where's this chocolate cake at? And turns out it's a candle sitting on top of the fridge. And I was like the most disappointed I've ever been in my life. That's like probably not true. I think I should surprise Kaylin with a homemade, home-baked brownie pecan pie candle scent from Walmart. Brownie pecan pie sounds good. Oh my goodness, is that your last one? Here you go. Is that your last one? You're such a good eater. Yay! And we're gonna put in two blocks of brownie pecan pie. Woohoo! All right. Daisy keeps following me around because I'm feeding her some leftover crusts from last night's pizza. So if you have dogs like us, they will eat anything and everything. So let me know if this is weird, but for things we don't want the dogs to eat, we hide it in the microwave, like bread. We used to have a bread box, uh, but it sat on the counter and it took up a ton of space and the dogs got to it anyway. So we put the bread in the microwave. Bread in the microwave. And the pizza box was sitting in the microwave, um, but you see it's empty, so it doesn't need to sit in the microwave anymore. Daisy can just chomp on it while I clean the house. So what are we gonna start with when it comes to this man cleaning this kitchen for this woman? My woman, she's my wife. Don't you ever look at my wife like I look at my wife, cause she's my wife. Okay, all right. I hope that gets edited out. Um, the number one thing we need to do before we clean the kitchen is we need to get the things out of the floor like this. A step stool, because Kaylin can't reach the top of the cabinets and she brings out the step stool and leaves in the middle of the floor. Step stool officially out of the way. Number two, the thing we need to get out of the way is this thing, right here. This thing gets in the way everywhere, so we're going to move it over here. I already cleaned the counters this morning, so uh, this should not be too much work. Um, there are more things on the counters, but I'm just gonna throw everything in the sink that needs to get washed. 
and let my wife wash it when she gets home. That was a joke. Ow! I just know all you out there are like, how dare you? You're supposed to clean the house for the wife. That's how I imagine internet trolls are. Like people who are just like super, super spiritual internet warriors, you know? Like, our lives are all better off because of those super spiritual internet warriors and we all need them. So don't hate, okay? Don't hate. What we have is a sink full of dishes that need to be washed. You say, Robert, that doesn't look like a dish, does it? No, it's kind of, uh oh. It's the back of Magnolia's high chair, which needs to be washed like 10 times over. And then the little casing thing that goes in it needs to be washed. It all needs to be washed, guys. So there's this new movie coming out called Shazam called Shazam and it is about a kid who gets superpowers and becomes a superhero and gets to fly around with like Superman and like fight with Batman and stuff like that. Anyway, it looks really, really cool and I hear it's really good, but it got me thinking the other day, like what kind of superpowers would I want? You know, like of course as a kid, oh, to fly and to do this and to do that, but the older I get, the more I wish I had the superpower of convenience. I wish that I could just think that, hey, the dishes need to be washed and boom, they're washed and put away and dried and in their place where they need to go. And I think, man, the trash needs to be taken out and poof, the trash is gone, it's taken out. I don't even have to wait on the trash man to become because that's an inconvenience. So yeah, because our trash man decides not to come some days. So there you're sitting with the trash can completely full for two weeks. Or the trash man comes super early in the morning and you didn't get it out on time. So there you're sitting with the trash can for two weeks. Gosh, these are so many issues that just need fixing by like a superpower. The superpower of convenience. I think the thing I would use that power on the most is cleaning my toilet bowl. I'd be like, oh dude, boop, clean. Actually, I wouldn't even let it get filthy. I would just be like, hey, it just took a TT. Boop, clean. Yeah, that's the kind of things I think about. Alrighty, ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome to this moment that you have all been waiting for. The sink is pretty much clean. Isn't that the famous words of all husbands? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I did it. Sure, of course. Pretty much. It's pretty much clean, guys. There's only like two things that couldn't fit in the dishwasher because Robert knows how to stuff a dishwasher. Not gonna lie, videos like this are probably the reason we get comments that say, if I were Kaylin, I would totally leave Robert already. Yes, we get comments like that. And one positive thing about the comments being disabled Oh, we don't get comments like that no more. We don't even see them. So sometimes we see comments. I don't know what the deal is with YouTube right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if anyone knows what's going on. But probably because I put this baby in the video, there are gonna be no comments. So there you go. Let me just ask as crazy as I can because you can't say nothing. Now watch the comments be turned on. But to be completely honest, most of our comments are actually really nice. Like, I would say probably 90% of our comments, which is pretty good considering between all of our platforms, and I'm talking about all of our platforms combined, like 90% are like really, really good comments. Um, so yeah, all of our platforms combined, I think we have somewhere around 100,000 followers. Um, of course, there's doubles, you know, people follow us here, that follow us there, follow us there, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, 
But yeah, most of our comments are really good, and most of the people that have subscribed to us, like, a lot of them we have actually become really good friends with. Speaking of which, by the way, if you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, and I have looked at my analytics. Only 40% of the people that watch us subscribe to our channel, which is insane! Like, we could have 60% more subscribers than we have right now. Think about that. Hit that subscribe button. Do it. Do it right now. I'll wait. Did you do it yet? It's right down there. All right. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button and thanks for hitting that bell notification as well. Woohoo! Jeez. This is really what you get, guys, when like no one else is at the house. It's kind of like if you sing to yourself when you're home alone and there's no one else watching, but there's like thousands of people watching because I'm putting it out on YouTube. So just know that you would probably be doing the same thing if you were home alone. Maggie Nolia, you got one left, baby girl. Get this last one. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it. Peer pressure, peer pressure. Eat it, eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it. So you guys may find this interesting. This is what Kaylin's doing in order to make sure she eats the right foods. So today is Sunday, March 24th. She had two glasses of milk. She had two eggs. She had whole grains, two pieces of toast. Another thing of whole grains, which I think are some like uh, granola bars or crackers or something. Another thing, uh, another thing, and another thing, and another thing. And a source of vitamin C. So she had her orange juice today. So she's out to dinner right now with the girls and she's gonna make sure she gets all this protein. That's a lot of protein. So she's gonna eat a lot of chicken. And when she gets home, she needs two more glasses of milk. And she'll get her vegetables while she's at dinner tonight. And she'll be good. So two vegetables, tons of protein, and milk. Hey. Oy, oy, oy. Daisy, where are you at? You're like slacking, Daisy. Daisy, you're supposed to eat all this. Olivia wouldn't only eat it all, she would lick it all and mop the floor for me, okay? No, don't eat it. Guys, we have this amazing thing called an eye vac right there. And if you have dog hair or if you have babies or anything like that, you absolutely need one of these. Check this out. That's pretty darn amazing, right? Like that's one of my superpowers. The power of convenience. I bought that on Amazon and yeah, it's one of my superpowers. Guys, this video is gonna be titled like white people problems or something like that or like first world problems because I hope that you know that I'm like, while yes, it would be nice to snap my fingers and everything be clean around me, um, I am joking, I do know this is just like part of life, it's what you do. So I hope you know that, okay? I hope you know. Are you in the know? Or did it just go over your head like woo? We'll know whose head it went over by the comments, if they're available. What do you wanna do now, baby? Hmm? You wanna vlog? You just wanna vlog, don't you? I wanna vlog. Open up my eyes, I wanna vlog. Hey Maggie Noya. Hey baby. Hey. Hey baby girl. I wanna get my yard looking really nice so that Magnolia can like come out here and run and play and be crazy. Um, we're gonna film this right here, okay? Check this out. So that was my neighbor backing up, and there's a story behind that, and I guess since I'm being real with you guys today, I'll tell you that story. It's a little bit aggravating and a little bit embarrassing, but the cops were called on us a couple days ago, and the cops came out here, talked to the neighbor over there, 
which just backed out and said, what's the problem, ma'am? And she was like, there's someone parked in front of my driveway. I can't get out. Um, you need to go tell them that they can never park there again. And it was one of Magnolia's therapists. So the therapist, um, a lot of times because our driveway is only a one car driveway, one car can fit in and out of it, um, like back to back, you know? So anyway, um, a lot of times they'll park like on the edge of the street with their like two tires in my grass along with like their other two tires pretty much on the edge of my grass. So pretty much their entire car is in my yard. So anyway, that's where they park. And let me tell you this, where they park, and I'll show you. You see how her driveway is right there. Well, the person was parked like right here and that way. Like the front of her car was here and that way right there. So there was plenty of room for her to back out just like she did right there. Um, but no, she had to call the cops on us and she had to like complain and file like a report and stuff like that. And Caitlin came out here and checked the mail. I was already gone to work and Caitlin came out here to check the mail during that time. And um, she was getting a little irate and like yelling at the cop and stuff like that and pointing at Caitlin. So Caitlin told me, I called the cops. Um, the cops put me through to the officer who was actually out here. The officer that was out here was laughing about it and saying that, um, you know, she got a little irate with him because he was telling her there was nothing he could do about it, that we were legally parked and that we were parked on my property, not her property and not blocking her in any way to get out. So how aggravating is that? More first world problems. But it's just so silly. It's like, can't you just be a neighborly neighbor? Can anyone just be a neighborly neighbor anymore? Let me know in the comments below, do you know your neighbor's first name and how often do you talk to them? I would say I know the first name of these two neighbors over here and I talk to them probably once a week. The rest of them that way, I try to pretend that they're not there. And it's not just me. Kaylin feels this way too. My entire family feels this way. Guys, we could tell you stories, okay? We could just, story time, worst neighbors ever. But we don't because we try to be polite and not smear people all over social media, for the most part. All right, everybody, I think that's enough of my actual real personality for one day. Um, can you believe that Kaylin knew I acted like this a lot of the time and I'm getting wet right now? Oh, it's cold. Can you believe that Kaylin knew I acted like this most of the time and she still married me? What was she thinking? Anyway, I hope she's having a really good time at her girls meet up today. And yeah, I need to tell her, hey, place me an order cause I ain't got no food at the house. I mean, we ain't even got cereal right now, guys. We don't even have cereal. If I have one more first world problem today, I might just melt. Okay, guys. I hope you had a good time watching this crazy vlog. And I hope you like the story of my crazy neighbor. But most importantly, I hope you hit that subscribe button. I hope you hit the bell notification. I hope you hit that like button as well. And follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and follow, not Twitter actually, I don't mess with Twitter at all. So follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook. Do all that stuff because you're awesome and we're awesome and you want to be awesome with us. The next vlog coming up Wednesday, you will not want to miss because everything, and I mean everything, has changed. And I'll tell you all about that coming up in Wednesday's vlog.